Shalom, and welcome to PowerPoints. I'm answering questions right now that come across my desk, my phone, and my life. And one of the things that uh, I see happening right now is there's so much spiritual warfare. People need to know, how do I position myself? First of all, the battle belongs to the Lord. That's why when we do spiritual warfare, in Isaiah it says, put me into remembrance of my word. Because all spiritual warfare is over whose covenant are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in the covenant of the victorious, sovereign, holy God? Or are you going to believe the lies of Satan? And so whatever you put your faith in, that's what you get. So spiritual warfare really is already won. It was won at the cross. We have to apply it by faith and trust through the covenant blood of Jesus. And so what happens is do we believe? It's kind of like when you're a little kid. Uh, you know, when you had brothers and sisters, I was the balanced middle child. So I was the tormentor of the little one and the older one while we were doing these road trips, you know, when you're in that station wagon during the 60s. So, so it's like, are you going to believe what the, little, the middle brother is scaring you? Or are you going to believe my dad that's driving the car? Well, of course, you should trust the dad. I'm like six, seven years old. I'm an idiot. I'm playing around. That's the enemy. The enemy's the idiot in the middle seat messing with you, telling you all this stuff that's going to happen. That actually can't happen because your father that's driving the car is taking you safely to that destination. He told you that when you left the house and everything's going to be fine. So what we have to do is in spiritual warfare, we have to realize that the that we're not winning the battle. The battle isn't on your shoulders. Your job is to put God into remembrance of his word and believe it by faith. We do the little thing and God does the big thing. Spiritual warfare, if you can catch this principle, spiritual warfare is to refine and purify the warrior, the believer, for the promotions to come. Because the battle comes to reveal the character issues in our life. We repent to Shuva, we return to the Lord, ask Him to heal us in those areas, and He does because we ask. But you can't ask for something you don't know. So the battle reveals the weakness. We give the weakness to the Lord. The Lord heals us so that that character issue doesn't come to steal the blessing of the future to come. The Lord always refines, purifies, cleanses before he pours that new wine into our cup. So God is very sanitary in the sense that he does not bring holy things from heaven and put it in unclean things on earth. So the war is to purify. I'll see you tomorrow morning.